Hello, I'm going to be going through some of the basic steps to register an application and uh, create yourself a Twitch chatbot so that you can send messages to yourself whilst you're streaming. In order to do this, uh, it's probably recommended that you have some JavaScript knowledge and Node.js knowledge to begin with, or at least the ability to search for what you might want to be solving. Um, you'll also need an IDE, so I'm using Visual Studio Code, which is free, and I'll put links to various things in the description. And I would suggest you make a separate account, which will be your application account. So I'm using Casual Geekbot as my bot account. And I think let's just jump straight into it. So to uh, make your separate account, you're going to want to ensure that you have this ticked so that you are able to register multiple accounts to your uh, email or phone and things like that. Um, and you're going to, on your main account, need to ensure that you have enabled two-factor. So Twitch needs both these things for you to register an application, which is how you're going to get a code to actually talk to the Twitch API. Um, once you have a second account with a reasonable name and everything set up and it is enabled with 2FA and verified against an email, you can come across to the developer tools where you will be able to actually register the application. So again, I'll put links in the description. Once you are on this page, registering an application is pretty simple. You just come into this page and uh, fill this in. So this is the bit which might trip some people up because you need a URL for Twitch to send the code to. Um, because what we're basically going to do is we are going to build a URL that we will do a GET request to Twitch, and then Twitch is going to respond to that redirect URL with your access code that you then need to take and put into your actual bot scripts. So what I'm doing is I'm just using a local Tomcat that I've set up for other things. Um, but uh, really, it's up to you how you manage this, following their guides for the various flows that they offer, uh, as they do offer a bunch of different ways to get the token. However, they pretty much all need something to talk to. So once you have established uh, this on your account, you can actually begin writing the code. I already have a bot set up, as you can see, so I'll just run through a couple of the commands in this PowerShell. Um, essentially, what you're going to want to do is just make a new directory, cd into said directory, and then to actually create a project, uh, you want to run npm init, which will ask you a whole bunch of questions, which uh, for home projects, I just use the default for everything and don't really worry about it. And you're also going to want to install uh, a script called tmi.js with npm i tmi.js. So what this is, is basically the interface between you and Twitch. Um, someone has gone through the legwork of uh, creating that for you, which is nice. So I found this on GitHub, you don't, need to do this because we've essentially grabbed that already. But what you probably do want to do is grab the documentation uh, from here because, so if you just come into GitHub, if you don't know how to use GitHub, you can just grab it and download it from there. Um, this is going to help you use that script. So this is what you want to tap into to understand what you've just installed. Um, and it's, got a readme that tells you to install Ruby and things like that to actually host it. However, if you have a good text search tool and you know what you're looking for, um, you can just search it. So I use Agent Ransack and uh, I just search for the word events and I found what I needed without having to actually host these files. Um, so then once you have that, we'll get to my actual code. Um, what you will probably want to do, so you'll, you'll use uh, file open folder to open the project that you've just created. You'll find there's a package.json file where you will want to um, set up a alias for starting so that you can start 
use npm start uh, to directly start your bot and give it the name of the JS file that you want to create as well. So to create a file, you just do a new file and call it something.js, which bot.js for mine. And then uh, within that, you're going to need to tell it, I want to use that tmi.js. And that uh, particular client comes with a whole bunch of config. There's way more than I've put here, but you can find that all in the documentation that you've hopefully downloaded. Um, now this bit, I've used a static variable that I've hidden away because obviously I don't want to advertise my access code to the world. But this is where the uh, registration of the application that you did earlier will come into play. So what you're going to want to do um, is you will probably end up with a URL that looks vaguely like this, where I've taken out my client ID. Um, and obviously the redirect URL for mine is just coming to a local Tomcat that isn't publicly hosted or anything. Um, and the scope is what you actually want your bot to do. So all I'm doing in here is chatting. It's just um, talking to and responding to chat. Uh, so you can find on here a list of a whole bunch of things. So again, the link will be in the description, but this is just the standard Twitch documentation for how to use their APIs. So all of the scopes, all of the things you could do with a bot are listed here. So I've used chat edit, chat read. Um, and it uses URL encoding, so that uh, is the colon. Um, and because it's OpenID Connect, you also need to tell it in the scope uh, to use OpenID. But again, this is in their documentation. They tell you to do that. So when you have created this URL correctly, you can simply drop it into a browser as a GET request in the address bar, and it will redirect back to whatever your redirect URL is, and you'll find within that the access token. So that is what you need to put here um, for the bot to work. Once you've put your access token in here, you can actually start using that script. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is to connect to the chat. And the chat will be as defined here. So here we can see casually geeking bot is the bot. Casually geeking is the channel um, that I actually want to talk to. So this client.connect will tell it to connect to the chat uh, for casually geeking, which I've popped out over here. Um, and then because I'm paranoid, uh, I added a single message on the event connected. So basically when this is connected, we send a message uh, to say it's connected. So uh, I will demonstrate that uh, now. And we should see in a moment where it is. So the rest of the code is really going to depend on what you actually want the bot to do um, and what you can figure out from Twitch's documentation and your own knowledge or searching of JavaScript. Uh, as an example, what I wanted to do is I wanted to create my own timer-based messages that unlike Streamlabs, it can pick from a list of messages randomly. Um, and the timer is not based on anyone actually saying anything in chat. So basically, I have two lists set up that run independently of one another. One will constantly go every 14 minutes, picking a random thing from this. And the other one is based on an interrupt. So it has an 11 minute timer. But if somebody says something in chat, that timer is restarted. Uh, as essentially, it's basically just a prompt for me, um, when no one's chatting, to think of something to say. And um, there are some things that you probably want to know. So this is probably going to be the most common way that you interface with that script, where you are waiting for a message to come in. And it's probably a good idea when you do to actually uh, interrogate the username that you've got, because obviously you don't want your code to operate if it's the bot itself, or if it's any other bot that you've got, um, or in some bizarre circumstance, if the username is just undefined. 
uh, which I've seen a couple of times, so I added that. Or if it's a redeem, uh, so I've specifically said here, don't uh, operate when it starts with an exclamation mark, because I don't want it to operate when someone is redeeming something. Um, but yeah, really, the rest is up to you. So you can make it play little games uh, if you want to, or you can look at the documentation to see if you can find any other fun uses and things you can think of. And that's really about it. I think the most tricky bit for most people uh, will be getting that OAuth key, because obviously you need a redirect. Thanks for watching. I hope this was in some way useful.